welcome back to my youtube channel now this video would be a continuation from where we left off and now previously i have gone through with you alpha beta gamma actually is the effect of the decay where the disintegration of this unstable nuclei huge proton number when once it decay it tends to release energetic particle so these are the three alpha beta gamma and i also gone through with you the effect to electric field i mean uh, you need to make note of the angle the angle of uh, deflection alpha we have the smaller angle deflection because of its heavy mass followed by uh, the effect of a magnetic field to the energetic particle so in this video, I'm going to go through with you the uh, decay. Alright, so they are actually I put into a general form. There are actually three types of decay alpha, beta, and gamma, obviously. Um, we start off with the alpha decay in a general term. Okay, alpha decay, what happened to it in general form? Say for example, I have an unknown. This is the nu neutral number, proton number of an any element, x element. Okay, any element. Okay, what happened? Once I've gone through decay, what happened? You would get four two helium. Okay, this is what you get. But what happened here, your another element say y, in order to be constant, I mean the same as with the left, what happened? The proton here, you would have a minus 4, and the proton here, z minus 2. So therefore, it will be equal. So based on this general equation, what can you tell is the parent, this is the parent, the parent nuclei, what happened to the parent nuclei, the proton, we lose two proton. Okay, the parent nuclei lose two proton parent lose two proton that's represented here also it lose two neutron because a is actually a combination i mean i'm, I'm gonna help you out with a little bit more the nucleus Previously, you have a nucleus, then inside nucleus, they will have proton and neutron. Use another color to represent nucleon, neutron. Okay, okay, for the case of uh, hydrogen. So, what happened? This is the arbitrary diagram, is any diagram, simple diagram for help you to uh, understand it. So, the nuclear number is represented by this part here this is actually the nucleus number total nucleus number so inside the nuclear number there are combination of proton neutron so here it lose two proton therefore it will lose another two neutron picking up of four you can see it from here Okay, so this is alpha decays, pretty straightforward. But normally it comes out in uh, ob objective question. What happened? It's the beta. Okay, beta decay. It tends to uh, comes out in objective question, multiple choice. So what happened when you have a z x unknown any element? Okay, what happened? Let's look at what you get. Okay, here you would get uh, 
um, maybe I stick with blue. This is what you get. You will get a uh, electron minus one e. Okay. And what happened to the parent, the parent nuclei? What happened? You get y. In order for it to be neutral, so therefore a will be a. So it's zero. So you get a. Here you get minus one. So what happened? Your z has to be plus one. You plus one minus one, then you get z. So here, conclusion you can draw is the parent a neutron, perhaps. It's actually disintegrate into a proton and an electron. parent nuclei disintegrate into or a neutron actually here is actually a neutron right disintegrate into disintegrate into a proton one proton and one electron. This is here. This is one of the uh, tricky part because of the wording. Okay. The parent disintegrate into proton and an electron. Right? Let's say for gamma. Gamma decay, C A Y decay. Gamma is actually uh, electromagnetic radiation. Okay, so what happened? The A Z from X, you get actually you get original. Okay, you don't lose any proton or any neutron or any um, thing, but you get gamma ray. What do they have difference? Here you have lower energy, meaning the nuclei here tends not to vibrate so much as compared to here. Here we have higher energy in terms of energy because partial of the energy is being loose as gamma ray as a form of radiation. Okay, so these are the uh, three decay that you no, and uh, it's being uh, summarized to here, so it helps you out with your uh, workbook exercise 15 to 20 questions to determine what is the element. Normally, you determine element by the proton number, it's just from the objective question, you just uh, look at the uh, proton number or neutron number. Then, coming up next, that would be uh, the calculation. Okay, this theory now, the calculation. What happened when it decay to find out a time for it to decay? How long does it take to decay from, let's say for this case here, to here? Okay, the transition, how long? Okay, that's where we have no longer, oh, okay, they call it as half life. It is one of those uh, bonus question comes out, then you should be able to answer it. You should nail it. The concept, okay. If you learn the concept, then you'll be able to uh, answer all kind of question comes out. Okay, just learn the concept. What's half life? Say you have this amount of atom initially of nuclei okay it's randomly moving around this volume maybe contained in in a lab perhaps want to help you out visualize it so it's uh, actually a lab thick lab box okay it's 
pumplum uh let okay it's pumplum pumplum tick box what happened initially you have says here let's say you have what 50 here well i mean it doesn't have 50 but uh, imagine that there are only 50 initially how long does it take to reduce to only okay half from its original okay we still have the box lead box okay so how long does it take to become half the average time for the number of undecayed nuclei half in number so this is what you call T half half life now you should have seen the uh, graph that would be uh, that look like wow we have this okay you doesn't need to learn how to uh, derive it okay so put into a graph graphically it shows that initially have this much then okay it is integrate into so and so so much say initially I have uh, 50 okay so um, the x the y axis is actually a number the hash key represents number shorthand yeah? number of undecay of undecay nucleus okay this initially number of nuclei initially let's say they are 50 right now how long would it take to reduce to half says when it reach up to 25 what's at this time this is the time defined as I mean time could be second could be days could be years okay so that the unit it's depends on different uh, radioisotope okay so time it could be days, could be seconds, could be months, and it could be years. Okay. So the definition is time taken for the undecay nuclei to become half from its initial state. Um, if you need it, then you need to make your own notes from your workbook. How do you do? Uh, you want to more calculation? I mean, if you like, you know, happy to have that, then you're more than happy to do so. Here, I'm going to use a graph, a huge one, to illustrate the following concept in a better way. So I'll use n number of undecay nuclei. T is actually time shorthand. Then um initially reduce and etc so initially I have so much let's say I have n not initially okay then what happened it become half this is half n not so this is my actually my um, the first t half isn't it so this is my first T half, first half time. Okay, then we of course we will reduce further. Then you have okay, so much. That will be my second T half, two T half. Then it will further reduce. Maybe this is my third T half, etc. So from here, you were able to calculate. So say initially I have n not here. I'm going to put in a column. Initially n not. This is time is zero n not. First t half I have half from original. 
second tier half I would have one quarter, isn't it? So it's half squared of T half. Half of here, what happened? You have three of T half, which is one eight. This one four. Half of one four is one eight, right? Correct now. So one way to derive this equation, you want to put in an equation. So if you know the activity of that particular nuclei, a certain number, you will be able to actually find out how long does it take. X only do is times with n, not n, uh, n not. Okay. Oh, I made a mistake because here it's not t half. You have a second t half, then this is actually n not. Sorry, a mistake. During the third half time, then you left with only this amount of from the original. And this is actually a general equation. How many times? Okay. Now I know it's a bit abstract at the moment. You have no idea what am I talking about. I'm going to give you an example before I sum off this video, and then you, then you will have an idea. Okay. Say, give you an example. First one says initially and and not initially the activity count it's uh, 160 count per second so uh, next video I'm gonna talk about uh, the detection you know what does it mean count count is actually a click so one second there are 160 clicks of course you can't count it but the device will tell you 160 clicks click 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 okay initially 160 count so after after thirty minutes, you wait for until thirty minutes. You bring in the detector, the activity counter. You count, and then it tells you it reads twenty counts per second. Right? Then you ask. What is T half? Okay, question like this, I think it's rather hard to illustrate it in terms of word. So it'd be nice you put it into graphical form or you put it into table form. This is one of the trick. How are you going to answer that? So say it's initially it's 160. Okay, you may either put it sideways. I think it's easier. Left and right, 160. Half of it is. 80 in the working backwards half of it half of it half of 80 is 40 half of it is 20 so this is initially when t is 0 and t is equal to 0 so how long does it take to go to 20 you know that from here to here is 30 minutes here to here 30 minutes so here to here, one, two, three, right? So we have one, two, three. So easily, each of it, 10 minutes later, 10 minutes, 80, 10 minutes, you get 40, and then 10 minutes, you get 20. So when it reach up to 20, it takes about 30 minutes, so therefore you know T half is actually 10 minutes. Straightforward. Okay? That's no exact way you know, how to calculate it. If you want, you may put in an equation. Of course, you can get it, but put in an equation and make it it's complicated. I think it's best to use, I mean, to use a graphical method to uh, represent. I think it helps you even faster that way. Okay. Let me give you another example. We have. 
have a fossil, a piece of rock, for example, and you're told that it has 12.5% activity of its original, of original activity, original uh, activity for carbon. Radioactive carbon, okay? Left. If the half life, you are told the half life for carbon, half life is 5,600 years, then how old? Is a fossil. Inside a piece of rock, you have this uh, skeleton. You need know, to find out carbon dating. Okay, this is what I mean carbon dating. How long does it take? Okay, so again, 12.5% of original. So initially, you have 100%. Half of it, 50%. Half of 50, you get 25. Half of 25 is 12.5%. Okay, percent I can't write here. I mean, it's at the edge of it. So what happened? They are going to have one half-life, two, three. Three half-life. Okay? So it's rather straightforward now, isn't it? Because T half is... 5,600 years. So first one here, from 100% to 50%, it's 5,600 years. Another 5,600 years. Another 5,600 years. So therefore, oh, 5,600 times 3 years. That would be your answer. The same, uh, the same way. Oh, uh, you may go through your reference text or your exercise book. You know, try fifteen to, I think fifteen to twenty questions is more than sufficient to help you get the uh, essence, to get you good at it. You may want to uh, put it into equation like this one I've shown you earlier. You may do so once you are more familiarized with this equation then you may put it into this uh, equation if you like it no problem since I tell you the answer already you may want to work backwards you want to try to use this equation by applying to this question okay um, I think that's basically all about it coming up next video that would be on a uh, counter how you detect this count okay how to detect it <clears throat> there are actually a few ways to detect alpha beta and gamma um, this is his first time watching my video kindly subscribe to my channel and I appreciate the thumbs up for this video until then stay tuned to my next video